All right, what's going on you guys, it's Victor here, and I bet you wanna know what the long-term effects of limb lengthening surgery are. Well, me too, because to be honest with you, there really aren't too many long-term effects that are gonna sneak up on you without you knowing they're gonna happen. I mean, think about it. If you have a complication like a muscle contracture, uh, a non-union, an infection, or something like that, you know that there's gonna be problems down the line if you don't get them treated immediately. So, um, you know, there really isn't too much research to go off of, um, but based on my own experience and speculating from the research that I could find, I did come up with a list um, of potential long-term effects that I grouped into categories of different levels of severity. So um, level number one is gonna be your eh, whatever level, because um, it's really not that serious, and it's gonna start off with your scars. You're gonna get, you, it's, it's known that you're gonna get some scarring from limb lengthening surgery, okay? You're gonna sustain some battle scars, so you've gotta accept that. Um, but the thing is, is that it should be the least of your worries because they're gonna fade big time. They're gonna be hardly noticeable, and if you really want to, you can get them laser removed later on. So you shouldn't worry about these scars at all, uh, but that is a long-term effect, okay? Um, next up you have things like, you know, growing out of your clothes and having to change your car seat and um, if you're riding bikes, your seat adjustments, things like that. Um, but again, at least your worries. It's known that you've just grown two to six inches taller, so buying a new wardrobe should be, you know, a happy thing, a celebration. So um, yeah, that's another long-term effect if you wanna go there. Uh, and then the third one in the eh, whatever category is gonna be, um, you know, your altered biomechanics. So this is a limiting belief for a lot of people because some people think that they haven't really recovered when all they really needed to do is to, you know, adapt and adjust to their longer limbs and increase their muscle strength through the range of motion, okay? This bigger range of motion. Um, and I always tell people all the time is that you're gonna be different. You're not gonna be the same as you are right now at all. It's a given fact. You are changing your biomechanics, however, being different is not worse, okay? Your body can adapt really, really well, and as long as you're willing to work through that, you can get back to where you are right now, or even better if you have a strong mindset, okay? Because think about it, a taller person you right now may be better than you or as good as you, um, and why can't you? Yeah, because you're stretching out the muscles and stuff and growing new muscle, well then adapt, stretch them out, okay? Strengthen that muscle and get better. Strong mindset, guys, strong mindset. All right, so level two is gonna be your milder symptoms. Uh, or milder long-term effects, okay? You have things like, you know, um, muscle stiffness. So range of motion, you could lose some of the range of motion if, if you do not stay on top of your PT. That's why I pray that you stay on top of your PT, especially during distraction and up into the two-year mark after your, um, you know, your leg lengthening surgery because those are the most vital times, okay? After that, like, yeah, I'll be honest. Like right now, I stretch about two to three times a week for about five minutes, okay? <laughs> it's really way less than I had to do during the actual process of limb lengthening um, because, you know, during that time, it's when your body is adapting to the new stretch. After that, it's just, just stay on top of it, keep it consistent, you know? If I miss a week or two, I'll notice that I get some stiffness, yeah, but it's not nearly as bad as if I didn't do it for the first two years, okay? Um, so definitely know that you need to stay on top of your physical therapy, um, stretching, and everything else like that, okay? Um, then you have things like a malunion. So when you're doing distraction, um, sometimes the bones don't align perfectly, okay? And there's sometimes like a, a mild deformity in the bone. Um, and if it heals properly and the bone is the same length as the other bone and it's there's con full consolidation, this is usually not gonna cause any problems. But if it doesn't, or if you don't go in for the proper checkups or the doctor doesn't notice it, and if it's hit with enough force at the right angle, um, it could be more likely you could sustain a fracture um, more so than if the bone was aligned perfectly, okay? So malunion, malunions um, could be a long-term effect, okay? But you just need to make sure that your x-rays are being, you know, looked at and you're, you're getting your proper checkups, okay? Uh, what about nerve damage? Well, <laughs> here's the thing about nerve damage. Your, your nerves are gonna stretch and some of them will tear, okay? But um, the, the good thing about peripheral nerves is that they can heal, they can regenerate themselves, okay? Peripheral meaning on the outside of the limbs and stuff like that. Um, the ones in your spinal cord can't. But 
so they can re regenerate, they can heal themselves and reroute. But the, you know, if you're not sticking to your physical therapy and whatnot and stretching and staying limber and loose, you could get things like nerve compression or syndrome, which is basically when you do have complications where you lose function or you don't have full strength in a muscle or something like that. So you need to do physical therapy. I think anybody who has limb lengthening done is going to preach physical therapy and rehab is the number one thing to prevent long-term effects, okay? So definitely, definitely stay on top of the PT. All right, now we're gonna go into the level three category, the more serious long-term effects that I found. And this is gonna be things like infection, okay? And I'm not talking about the infections that you would get from the surgery itself, like the, the insertion of the pins or leaving a wound open too long or the, the pin tracks of a lizard or external fixator. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, you know, the infection or, yeah, the, the infection of the leaching metal lengthening devices. Things like your internal rod or your external fixator, um, if left in for too long, these metals could technically cause some sort of interaction with your body that could cause some problems, okay? Because there isn't enough research to say that it's safe to leave them in. Okay, so back eight years ago when I had my le uh, lengthening surgery done, um, I'm glad that I got it out because it wasn't mandatory at the time, but I'm, I think it is now. I think it is mandatory to get them out now, or it usually is. Um, and you should, because there's just not enough research to prove that you should leave it in. Okay. Um, and most of the precise and stride nails have magnets inside of them. So that could cause some interactions, uh, with things like MRIs and whatnot. So, okay. Um, another big one that I hear about is arthritis. So here's the thing about arthritis guys. And I know this is a big fear. Um, I actually kind of thought about it myself when I was getting the surgery done, but then it made sense to me that arthritis is usually caused by, you know, repetitive uh, pounding on the joints, okay? Um, consistent wear and tear, okay? It's not, like, so can you get it from limiting surgery? Potentially yes, but it's super, super unlikely very, very unlikely because of the fact that it's a one and done ordeal. And it's not like you're going to the gym and training super heavy and hard uh, for over a decade, like your boy here, okay? So I'm way more likely to get arthritis than anybody who goes through one limb lengthening, sur one limb lengthening surgery, okay? So do not fear that you're gonna get arthritis from limb lengthening surgery, especially if you you know have a good diet, you do your rehab properly, you stretch um, efficiently, um, and yeah, you should be okay from that. And you can take supplements like glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM, uh, all kinds of other things like uh, anti-inflammatories like fish oil is a really good one. Um, supplements like that will help the inflammation of your joints and keep that cartilage and everything healthy so you don't get arthritis um, before you're supposed to. Because we're all going to probably end up with some arthritis later on and like when we're 80 and stuff like that. I'm going to probably have it like the next... I don't know when I'm done bodybuilding, so I, I probably already have it. So <laughs> anyway, um, the most severe long-term effect of the serious uh, level three category is going to be a poor mental outlook. Okay. And what I mean by this is that you did limb lengthening surgery to help your mindset, right? To kind of quench some sort of desire that you had, whether related to your height, okay, your short stature. Well, here's the thing is that if you did limb lengthening surgery for the wrong reasons and you come out of it still unhappy, then you're going to regret everything. And that's gonna be the worst long-term effect because regret is the worst thing to live with long-term, okay? So I really want you to think hard that do you really want the surgery done because you don't wanna go into it um, to just get it done because for one, it's extremely costly and pretty risky to go into if you, don't really think that this is gonna you know, solve your problems. Because if it does, then you come out of it happier, a better person, and you have better quality of life, then it was 100% worth it. But if not, you're gonna have lived with like all this regret, and you're probably not gonna work very hard to come back harder, and you're gonna have complications, and then all the, the downfall begins, okay? So that's what I really want you to do, because then you're gonna have to seek therapy and join a, like a support group. Um, but definitely, definitely, definitely make sure that this is something you want because it's way too much of an investment um, time-wise, money-wise, and you know, physical health-wise uh, to not be for the right reasons, okay? Um, maybe in the future there's gonna be more long-term effects as more research comes out. Uh, but right now there's just not enough as cosmetic limb lengthening is relatively new. Um, 
you know, but in the meantime, if a problem arises, definitely, you know, talk to your doctor about it so it can be taken care of as soon as possible so that nothing happens, okay? Um, but I do want to know what you think are the long-term effects. Did I miss something? Go ahead and put them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, if you found the video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos. And until next time, this is Victor from Cyborg for Life, signing out.